best COVID-19 information in American Sign Language. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, have created new videos in American Sign Language to help you keep up with the latest COVID-19 news and guidance. Learn how to protect yourself and the people you care about from COVID-19. Hello everyone, how are you doing? I'm Sign One News anchor, Jadeep Gore. Here's a quick look at the top trending stories making headlines today. And if you want to make an interesting comment about this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. If you're in the Rochester, New York area, be sure to check out the 31st Annual Women's and 77th Annual Men's USA Deaf Basketball Tournament. From 8 a.m. to 9 p.m., you can watch the best players in the country, 11 men's teams and six women's teams, battle it out for championship bragging rights. The tournament started on Thursday. The men's and women's national games were today at the St. John Foster University Athletic Center. Saturday semifinals and championship games, as well as the Youth All-Star Game and Hall of Fame ceremony, will be held on Saturday, April 29th at Monroe Community College. If you can't make it to Rochester, no worries. Sign One News will be live streaming on our YouTube channel with anchor Gaytree Killings reporting courtside. For more information on the USA DB, head to go.usadb.us/2023. Check out this aerial view of the massive destruction of several homes in Florida, possibly by a tornado on Thursday. Dozens of homes were either damaged or completely destroyed. Some residents say it sounded like a train was hitting their house. And now the Storm Prediction Center says 60 million people living in the South and Mid-Atlantic region of the country are facing the threat of two powerful storm systems tonight, Friday, and possibly into the weekend. The storms could once again bring tennis ball-sized hail, strong winds, and tornadoes. By Saturday, most of the severe weather will be winding down. But forecasters say people living in New Orleans, Montgomery, and Mobile, Alabama, and Orlando and Tampa, Florida, could still be hit with severe weather conditions. We want to warn you, some of the images in this video are graphic and may be disturbing to some viewers. Don Carmignani, the former San Francisco Fire Department commissioner, was allegedly beaten with a metal pipe by a homeless man named Garrett Doty. And it was all caught on camera. But now, Carmignani is being accused of initiating the altercation. The public defender says Carmignani attacked the homeless man first, and she showed video to prove it. The video shows Carmignani walking up to Doty, pulling out a can of bear spray, and spraying the man as he lay on the ground. That's when the man appears to get up, and the pair begin to scuffle. There was a short chase, 
and then Doty hit Carmignani with the metal pipe. Carmignani says he is a victim, attacked after trying to remove homeless people he says were doing drugs outside his parents' home. His attorney released this video of his alleged attacker picking up a metal rod, then practicing his swing. Carmignani did not show up for a scheduled court appearance Thursday where he was subpoenaed to testify. Prosecutors say he's still recovering from extensive injuries and said they are not dropping the case against his alleged attacker. But because Carmignani didn't show up, the law says Doty had to be released. And prosecutors say they need Carmignani to testify for the case to move forward. The next court date in this case is about a month away. Former Cincinnati mayor and longtime TV host Jerry Springer has died at the age of 79. A family spokesperson says Springer died not long after being diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Springer's tabloid talk show was famous for outrageous arguments and knockdown drag out fights between guests. Sometimes, chairs were thrown, too. The show featured segments with titles like Trick or Cheaters and Confront This Dominatrix. Springer was known as the godfather of trash TV. The Jerry Springer Show came to an end in 2018 after 4,000-plus episodes and more than 25 years on air. WNBA star Brittany Griner spoke publicly for the first time since returning to the U.S. If you recall, she was arrested, charged, and sentenced to nine years in a Russian prison for drug smuggling. She was arrested at a Moscow airport for carrying cannabis oil in vape cartridges. Griner said she packed the cartridges by mistake. She was released after 10 months in jail after the U.S. negotiated a prisoner swap with Russia. She became very emotional when someone asked her what gave her hope and how she found the strength to finally speak out. She said she's faced hard times before in her life, although the Russia ordeal has been the toughest, and she relied on her work ethic to get through it. And she said seeing pictures of her family and images of the efforts to get her out meant everything to her. She also unveiled a mural of other Americans being detained overseas. She encouraged them to keep fighting and don't give up. Jada Pinkett Smith is looking for a new network for her web-based show, Red Table Talk. The Facebook Watch original show has been canceled. Facebook parent company Meta has gotten rid of all of its original programming. 
Pinkett Smith co-hosted the popular talk show along with her daughter, Willow Smith, and Pinkett Smith's mother, Adrian Banfield Norris. The show featured the three women having open and raw conversations with celebrities, experts, and public figures, and often dove deep into topics like social justice, relationships, and female empowerment. On Thursday, Pinkett Smith thanked Facebook Watch on her verified Instagram account and said she is actively looking for a new home for the show now. A 40-pound cat was just adopted by a Virginia woman named Kay Ford. Now both of them are going on a diet. Patches was surrendered by his previous owner to Richmond, Virginia Animal Care and Control. Officials say Patches is the biggest cat the shelter has ever seen. When Ford came to take Patches home, two people had to carry his cage. After just a few weeks with Ford, Patches has already lost 2.2 pounds. He still can't fit into the door of his cat bed, and he's five times larger than Ford's Yorkshire Terrier dog. But veterinarians say tests indicate there's nothing wrong with patches. And a diet and exercise will fit, fix everything. Sign One News will be broadcasting updates Monday through Friday. A big thank you to our Sign One News app supporters. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. And you can also watch on Apple TV, Amazon, and Roku.